Joe Tige joins us now with the Trader Rundown. A big day for the market. A lot of people paying attention to what the Fed will say. We have Jerome Powell at the symposium in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. He's expected to speak today. Yeah, and really setting it up, we've been looking forward to Jackson Hole. It feels like two weeks now. We've just all been focusing on this big talk that uh, Powell's going to give. Now, the market kind of set us up and the Fed kind of set us up on Thursday for uh, Powell to be a little more hawkish. Uh, the market was at this 2940 area, the, an area where the S&P has had a trouble getting over. And right at that time, the Fed got hawkish. Also, at the same time, we got some weak PMI data. The market really dove off of that really hard resistance at 2940. Now, the Powell speech market is eagerly looking forward to. I think based on the comments on Thursday, we're not expecting them to be too much different from their last uh, their last meeting in which they said, you know, it's a mid-policy adjustment. We're going to see maybe three at the most cuts. I think the market wanted more, and now we're going to have to adjust to see uh, how we're going to do with three cuts. Most economists are also paying attention to what's happening with the consumer based on the retail numbers and earnings that have come in already. What are your thoughts and how are traders playing yeah, this year? The data is starting to get a little bit more mixed. It's maybe that happens at the start of a quote unquote recession. We want to be careful with that word. But uh, yeah, the, the, the retail has been mixed. It's been actually better than people had expected. We we're expecting to see the trade war start to slip in. We haven't necessarily seen that yet. Oh, however, the PMI data, maybe that's where we're starting to see the, uh, the trade war slipping in. Costs are going up. Production might be hurt by that. You're going to have a little bit, uh, you're going to be able to supply yourself a little bit less, you know, to cut back. And that's when you start to see people talk about recession. The, the people don't like talking about it because their fear is that it can be, become a self fulfilling prophecy. You hear about the recession, you spend a little bit less, you spend a little bit less. That kind of causes some economic contraction, and then that's where it snowballs from there. Uh, good to know. Thanks so much for coming on the show today, Joe. Thanks for having me. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.